All right, friends. Flight three at the True Crime Grapevine. We have um, a new case. Uh, Caroline Gaddis. I hope I'm saying that right. Caroline is 39. She's from Galveston, or the Galveston, Texas area. So she was, um, since March 18th, she was, she's a mental health counselor in a group and she apparently left work Friday and it, it's unclear exactly. So she's 39, she's a grown up. She was not heard from until she texted her boss, I believe, on the next, uh, like, Sunday. So I think the 18th, March 18th was Friday. So 19th, 20th, um, 21st, she said, she, she texted her boss and said, I'm going to be, uh, I was going to say absent, like at school. I'm not going to be at work. So the boss receives a text. So Tuesday, no information isn't coming into work. So her employment called her family and said, hey, this isn't like her. Where could she be? So Caroline was then declared like missing. Where is she? Um, and we don't know. So they, um, hold on a second. Her, she, the one thing was that so she called on March 21st saying she was going to be ill, um, but she missed a staff meeting the next day. So she was seen on traffic ca cameras. Now, there was two things that I heard um, near Longville, Longview, Texas and Lindale, Tex Texas at 750. There were two different reports. Um, look, so that's like in the Dallas area. So... We haven't heard from her. We don't know what's happened to her. Apparently, they went to her apartment. Again, two conflicting uh, information. One said the only thing was missing was her, like perhaps an overnight bag that her that had been purchased for, and they weren't sure if she got rid of it. But then another, and I believe more accurate description was that her bag was found packed, and it had. Her hair blow dryer, I mean, it was packed to go, like, for a trip, and it, it seems like it was left behind. So, we don't have Caroline. We, her car is missing. Her purse is missing. Her phone is off now after that text. Um, EquiSearch in Texas is working on the case. Her car is a dark blue Nissan um, Rogue. Texas license plate M. B Z dash seven forty. The Rogue is a two hundred two thousand eighteen variety. Um, so it was in the Daily Mail that said she had packed an overnight bag with her clothes, cosmetics, hair dryer, things that you wouldn't leave behind. Um, so her last confirmed sighting was at work on the eighteenth. So she worked at a mental health facility. Now I hate to say it but I don't know. I am sure the police are looking into it. Did she have a client? Again, this is all my supposition, all just speculation, but I am sure that the police in Texas are looking into did she have an obsessed client? Somebody who was attached or overly attached to her or was there someone bothering her um wanted to see her more often than necessary? It seems as if she was somehow detained somewhere after she left work and did not make it back to her apartment to grab that bag. And somebody who knew who to text, or at least had her to tell her to text. And another case. What can we learn from this? Um, I'm going to say, this is just my opinion, but maybe, maybe... When someone calls in, there should be like a face-to-face -face or a voice. Like you should get a, not just a text. We've seen numerous cases now um, where texts are sent by probably the perpetrator of whatever happened. So uh, 
this has been a while. We're just hearing of it. Um, I guess she lives in League City, which is where she was reported missing from because that's where she lives. But she had been at work in Galveston, and if you map it on Google Maps, they're very close together. But her car was seen in the Dallas area in either Longville or Lindale, Texas, at 7.50. So that's the right amount of time to drive from Galveston area up to the Dallas area. Um, as far as I know, as of this taping, um, on Tuesday, we don't know. Uh, it's Tuesday the 12th, April 12th. So it's been a while. Let's hope we get a better ending. Let's hope she took off. But So that is um, a new case. It's our third flight. And on to the fourth flight. Hi. If you liked this flight of episode 8, True Crime Grapevine, please put something in the comments. Like, subscribe, hit the notification buttons. You know how to do all the youtube -y things, and I will see you with new flights next Tuesday. Bye.